Are you stoked that... Well, I guess I should inform you. We pretty much have every single guest from now till the end of the season booked. Or, like, done. Awesome. We did it. We did it. We did it. Allegedly. Allegedly. I don't know if we did Let's it. not jump the gun early. Yeah, because, you know, things go up and down, left and right. Some people can't make it. Some can. You know, it's whatever. But I'm excited. We got some fucking... We got some good hitters. Some good finishing podcasts. Yeah. Which will be on... The last podcast were released on November 15th. Yeah. So if you're listening right now and it's Thursday or whatever day it is before November 15th, Andrew and I just got the word to go to Sisyphus Brewery and record a live podcast. We're very excited. And it'll be our finale podcast of the season. If you're listening right now or maybe you, you know someone that listens to our podcast, you're invited. We're going to have probably about 90 spots. Um, for this little theater that we're selling out. Sell, sell out is at 90. Sell out's at 90, so we need to pack the house. And, uh, yeah, it's literally just going to be Andrew and I up there in our floral chairs. The floral chairs are playing an away game for the first time ever, which I'm excited for. I, I, I'm more excited or kind of scared to try to get these down the stairs. I was our, just thinking about that tunnel. as I was saying it. I don't remember how we got them up, but we did it, so we can definitely we get did. them down. Yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> we moved these Beginning of the year. Beginning, Beginning of, the year. of season three. Yeah. Holy smokes! We're coming off a uh, a whirlwind of a uh, of a, a recording session, and we're not going to give you any spoilers because if we do, this is a, this is being released a week before the podcast we just released will be, the, which will be the back end show hyphen blind date hyphen yeah whatever you want to call it at this point. Yeah. But it's it's a surprise to those who haven't tuned into our Instagram live stream. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, the premise of it for next week's back end show is I had Clara set me up with a blind date. Previous previous marketing intern, uh number forty seven, I think, is with hers. Um but anyways, good friend of the program. I asked her to set me up on a blind date, the first date being a podcast. And what ended up happening on the blind date podcast will absolutely shell shock you because it shell shocked me i was um basically recording the the date and andrew was the producer and then jack was our wine guy filling up the wine he we got him to dress up in a full suit i mean it's it's amazing that is all we'll give you for right now we don't hype up many podcasts in the sense of like no we don't we never (laughs) we we always tell you straightforward what the hype is so like when chad greenway's coming on we'll tell you three weeks in advance chad greenway's coming on stuff like that this time no, no spoiler. Radical transparency is a staple of the back pocket. Yes. But not today. Not today. Not today. We, we gave you as much as we uh, we want to. As we want to. Because mm-hmm. like, as much as I want to like, just talk about what just what the fuck just happened, like, I can't. Because it's, cause it's it, this is showbiz, babies. Show, it's showbiz. Uh, simple as that. Um, but, uh, oh, what else was I going to talk about, dude? Um, I'm just stoked about our live show, to be honest. The live shows can be very fun, but we need to kind of get we a map. To, we got to like kind of map out what we're going to do because we can't do this on stage. This is not good showbiz. This is not good showbiz. Gonna, everyone's going to fall asleep if we do this. You know? Oh, yeah. We riff to uh, in a way that, you know, you can lis- listen to us on, as a side thing, yeah. as a back-end show. But when it's the main, when you're paying to come to us, yeah. there's got, which you're not going to be paying much. No, it's not going to make any dents. No dents. Um, but it will be, I mean, it's going to be something of the sorts of like a timeline, whether we start in the se- this beginning of the season or maybe just a little bit earlier, but yeah. we're going to pretty much just talk a little bit BTS and I really want to do some, some Q and a. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that. Cause when we had uh Coons on Jason Coons, who's next week's Monday show, his wife, Malia was like, you guys need to make sure you have like people submit questions before the show. And I love that idea. Yeah, so we need to do that somehow. So be on the lookout for that. Um, we'll probably be operating through our Instagram to get questions from you guys. Um, but yeah, that's definitely one thing. And it's going to be interesting because like you mentioned BTS, which is like behind the scenes of how we've built this whole um, season out. And it will be, what, 40 weeks straight of podcasting? Roughly. Roughly 40 weeks. And... I mean, this is going to be amazing, but there's just so much in there. We got to make sure we pick out like the most, I guess the most entertaining stories that people will all know about and, and have some depth to it versus like yeah, you yeah. just tell like a, 
a two sentence story and people are all looking at each other like nice story dude and he cried and i i can say that but that's not gonna yeah it's I mean, not gonna make waves i don't think no maybe i can talk about the thing that made me cry in a way that doesn't mm. not the story of me crying but just like re re get myself back in that moment and actually cry again and then actually cry yeah that's a yeah good idea. now we're <laughs> workshopping something we will cry on at the live show i will cry and andrew will cry Declan is uh you can bet on you can gamble and if Decky will cry, yeah, we should have prop bets. Some, some prop bets. We should set up our own prop bets. How many times <laughs> will Decky say a nick? Well, how many nicknames will be dropped? How many nicknames will be dropped? How many uh, crystal lines will be said? And then how many times will the back pocket say unpack? Mm. I would say those three things are definitely the prop bets. And then like a crazy prop bet would be like, would Andrew cry? Or actually, instead of would Andrew cry, would any of the will there be tears shed at the back pocket live show? Which I don't know. I can, we can get emotional sometimes, and when you're speaking the last words of your season to a bunch of people, what's crazy? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What's crazy is how we're gonna articulate how, and I don't know if we are going to or not, but the fact that we've released and will release three podcasts a week from the middle of February until basically the end of November. Yeah. Is asinine. It's so it's it, so asinine. It, it, Great it, word. It's <laughs> asinine in in the sense that when you when people sit across sit there and ask us like what's the future of back pocket or like why do you guys do it when did you start why did you start it like we don't have any great answers to any of that to any of that stuff no and especially to the, like when people ask us why do you do three a week. Also, I don't know. Because we want to. Because <laughs> we wanted to. Because we can and it just, we wanted to. It made sense back in February, all right? We yeah. <laughs> we were releasing th- two last year, and one of them was pretty much two episodes in itself, so that's how it became three. So That's exactly that's what it exactly, was. That was. This show that you're listening lot. to right now was part of our Monday show, and we just yeah. chopped it out because people were telling us they just wanted They to, liked it. They liked it, but they also wanted to get straight to the interview yeah. when we had a guest on. Yeah. So they were like, all right, let's do that. Let's just cut it. And yeah. add it to another show. And, you know, it's been fun. It's been a blast, and I loved every second of it. But the f- the fact that we've now released 120 of these bad boys yeah. in a calendar year for the just because we wanted to is it's purely based off of, like, us just wanting to wanting and to. seeing if we could do it, mm-hmm. right? Because we, we, Andrew and I were talking because um, we were hitting this point. We were kind of plateauing as a corp um, back in, like, September – um downloads were kind of down instagram and mental morale mental morale was tough and we were sitting there like god like we got to find a way to just like cut up podcasts (laughs) like i think i told you um i had some sort of solution right it was like let's just do one like do a merge the marketing interns and the monday shows together and just do two a week or something like that i think so and then you're like Let's just let's just finish it out and and end the season a little. What's earlier. two more months? What's two more months? And at the at the grand scheme of things, like we probably should have just cut it down because we can. We can do whatever the hell we want. Exactly. That's we, the whole point. Like, like we're just the <laughs> only reason why I said let's let's stick it out is because we said we were gonna, and that was the only reason why I wanted to continue to do it because right. five years from now I want to be able to say, in the year of 2019, we released 40 w- straight weeks with three podcasts. Yeah, we released 120 podcasts in 40 weeks. This is like, like, we, again, we, yeah, we, do, dominate the sandbox. That's another thing we always just tell people. We're like, what's, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, and then we just, we all, we just get so confident. We just point at this sign that oh, I, I scribbled up there in January, dominate the sandbox. Yeah. And we didn't even change it. Like originally that sign was the saying of the month of like different things that we'd come up with that were like funny sayings and we would change it each month, you know, to keep it as a recurring topic. But then at the beginning of this year, we put it as dominate the sandbox never changed it and then it still says saying of the month dominate the sandbox but we've adopted that for well over a month well over a month and i mean and purposefully yes absolutely with really intent he- with intent it's really helped us figure out who to get on our show and how yeah. to continue to navigate through this weeds of all these people we want to have on our show and it kind of gives us like an excuse when people are like you should have these person and this person on yeah. like well we're trying to focus in this lane it's not that narrow of a lane but it's still a lane in itself yeah but think about like think about how many conversations we've actually had where if you were to just take out the podcast and say we went on 120 coffee dates with 
not like girls, but like I went on 120 coffee lunches, interviews. Intervi- yeah. interviews with X, Y, and Z. In a calendar year. In a calendar year. Like you were all an hour long. They'd be like, what's your deal, dude? Yeah. <laughs> but I also think like we're physically building a network by having a conversation with one person at a time. And I'm really excited to see the response to our war- our body of work this year. Because we're, I mean, we have everybody's emails that we've coordinated with on this show um, to like come on and we send you a calendar invite. Like I'm sending out an email to every single one saying like, thank you, personal message. We'd love to have you at our live show, you know, and I'm really excited to see, you know, the response to that because those people have friends. We already had a core network of people who like, like to listen to our show. Like there's I'm very interested to see if we can like every time we throw a party, I'm always like, we're going to sell this bitch out. But we got to sell this bitch out. We got to sell it out. And I just I'm excited for the people that come that were on our show. Oh, yeah, that's sure. going to be a unique situation. The parties that we've thrown have been more. um less like there's a less conversation aspect to it of about us it's more like there's a focus of it there's another product out there another person out there so like they're gonna come they're gonna see us and we're gonna talk about them i don't know it's just one of those things that it's gonna be really kind of like a full circle moment yeah i mean i know you've gone up up, gone up on stage for the past 10 months doing open mics and doing a couple sweet shows that you've been doing which is killer I i haven't been up on stage since the last live show um you ready yeah, I'm ready. I'm, of course, but you are ready. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's gonna be a sweet banter between you and I, and like I'm not gonna try to be anything that I'm not. No, like I'm not gonna try to be funny to everyone. Like it's just not gonna work. Right. I'll probably get more dolls. It, it wouldn't be fun for me to try to do that. Um, for sure. So like I'm already writing down things of like like really impactful moments of throughout the year. Like that I yeah. want to make. Sh- if those people show up, I'm gonna 100% talk about. It. And if they don't, I'll like move through it. But if that person shows up, I'm gonna make sure that they know how awesome they were to us as in our in our growth yeah and i think that's a really good point in terms of like captivating the audience because if you remember our last live show we did it at um our local what are they called scooters at st thomas it was like a like a deli place that you showed up and grabbed food and every thursday they would have these um live performances whether it was like a band or something but we were like okay let's just go do a podcast on stage and then so everyone shows up for the free food and they're like talking in the back, grabbing the free food. And then you got like a little bit of an audience right in front of you that can kind of hear you. And that's what that was our first and really only live show that we've ever done. Right. Yes. This is going to be an entirely different atmosphere. Like this is going to be spotlights on us. People are entering that room to watch us. So this is going to be totally different. Correct. From a sta- from an audience feedback standpoint, which is why I love where your head's at. And my head was there as well, which is like. Let's find the different experiences and the different stories um, that not necessarily everybody knows. But when you call out that person or build a story around that one person that is there, that's just going to make so much more of an impact because people are going to be like, oh, no way. No way. That's me. Or that's the person I know. I listen to that podcast or Mm -hmm. whatever it is. And it doesn't have to be anything like, like a wow moment, but it's just like cool little tidbits. Like things as simple as Nolan Rockers challenging us to get on Jonah Stillman. Who challenges to get Steve Weigel? Who challenges to get Jason uh, Coons? Jason Coons, and I'm, there might be another person in there that I might be missing. But like those are kind of just a cool little train right there, and then there's uh, countless other things countless. that we can talk about. But the aspect why w- people and a lot of feedback that we receive why people enjoy the back pocket and what the back pocket is about is because we flip the camera around and we just talk about the guests and having that mindset when we're at when we're doing a performance is going to be pretty unique and pretty cool like we're not going to go up there and talk about all these numbers that we've hit and all these podcasts that like sure we'll like glance over that stuff but that's not the focus we're going to go up there and we're going to share stories of how amazing it's been to sit up on our third floor of a a house in uptown minneapolis a location that deck and i had no idea existed four years two years two years ago and now we have had 120 people come and sit on this couch that we just grabbed in January. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's um, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. I'm in. What's also interesting, or in you know something that you know the old marketing interns should know, and they probably already know this by listening to us talk. But like, dude, we don't really know what we're doing. Like, <laughs> this is just us again doing exactly what we want to do. Like, we just got done with this other podcast and 
we're a blind right, date podcast. A blind date podcast. And Declan now we're, wanted to do it, and I was like, "That's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's do it." And then we jump it right back into the back end show because we got to hit our three podcasts a week, and, and we're going we, to we release tomorrow talk. because we want to. Because we want to. We've we've done, and I think that's been the most rewarding part. And it always is, you know. Like I always remember the feeling we what, that we finished with at the end of last year, and I was just like, "That was the biggest thrill of my life from that August time to." December like the momentum we built during that time was so fun Mm -hmm. and then we carried it we took that same premise and just carried it this whole year and now really being able to reflect has been amazing and it's it's still interesting though because like we still don't really know where it's gonna go like we started this podcast by saying like oh yeah what 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 what's next for back pocket what's the expansion plan it's like you know, <laughs> we're going to take it to North Dakota. We're, we're going to take it to New Hampshire. <laughs> we're going to take it to Montreal. We're going to go down to Cancun for spring can break. I, can I play that video? I just yeah! so- <laughs> <laughs> you- I hope you guys know what that video is, dude. It's uh, what's the guy's name? It's Howard Dean or something like that. I can't remember, but it's so goddamn funny. It's our, this is our expansion plan for the people listening. This is our expansion plan. Yeah, for, for all those questions I've been asked, here's the answer here's to our, all yeah. your, your worries, our... your concerns, your problems. No. We have the solution we finally through fig- the voice of Howard We're going to something. South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. And we're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! 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 <laughs> we will not give up. Yeah! We will not give up in New Hampshire. Yeah! We will not give up in South Carolina. Yeah! We will not give up in Arizona. Yeah! We're going to Cancun for spring break. We're going to go to Montreal. We're going to Vancouver. I'm going all over the world. And then I'm coming all the way to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. That the, I watched that today because I was transferring files from your your laptop to mine, and it was like the last thing open. And I watched it today, and I was laughing out loud violently. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the very end where I go Pyok! pocket? It was so clever, <laughs> and I, I literally like said out loud, "I'm like, Decky's fucking got it, dude. He's got it." <laughs> I forget what we were doing, but we had like. I get thirty minute lapse of time before we were doing something. Yeah, I think I might have gone to going to Sisyphus to meet yeah, those yeah. guys. That's well, what it was. Should we talk about exactly where like the event itself? We don't really have any of the details. Like the price tickets, uh what how much should we sell these for? We did, it said like fifteen, right? Is yeah, well, well we want to give you guys these winter hats. And uh, these winter hats dude. cost us fourteen dollars. Yeah. So we're thinking about making the tickets fourteen dollars. So but then that, we were also like, there's a fee on Eventbrite, which is like a dollar. So we were thinking fifteen to make it that to just break even. Break even. So what, what do you guys think about that? Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. I think they like it. It seems like a good idea. It could be plausible. Yeah. And th- yeah. Okay. So we can go fifteen, and then uh, Sisyphus Brewery. Do you think we need to tell people where that is? It's over by across the street from the Walker. Uh, no, the Art. Uh, what's that p- giant field with all the contraptions on it? Uh, that's like the Walker Art Space. It's by that overrated spoon. If anyone knows yeah, where and that then is, Dunwoody College is right there. Yeah, Dunwoody College, and then right next to Dunwoody College is Sisyphus Brewery. But there will be like a Facebook event, and we'll send all that the details out. The show will start. Doors will open at eight. So what's really cool about Sisyphus is there's a a brewery on one side, and the theater comedy part, which where where we will be performing on the other side. So. Doors will open at eight. Uh, that will be an opportunity for you guys to jump in on uh, some beers. They got some awesome beers there, and then uh, hopefully we get some food there. There's gonna be some tentative food there. Maybe we don't know yet. Yeah, we're trying to work on food. Yeah, potential pizza. We don't know. Uh, but show will start at nine, and should we tell them about our opener? Yes, we got an opener, so we're really excited about that. Are you guys interested in this opener? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well known. Well known guest. In the back pocket community. Probably the closest guy to us this year. The year by 2019 far. has been dominated by this man. By this man, absolutely. We challenged this man. We said, hey, stick your foot in stick it. Stick your foot in it. And he did. Jack Burke. 
Jack Burke will be opening for us. Uh, we're giving him a five minute slot, you know, and he's going to warm up the crowd right at nine o'clock, get you guys going. And then that's when the live show will go. I think, how long do you think we'll go for? Should we just not say? Or I don't, I don't know. I don't probably be like, well, no, don't say we're not going to say, cause we don't it, never have anything figured out. Yeah. Cause we might get emotional. Right we might get emotional yeah. up there and, and it could last like 30 seconds and we just cry and we're out. Yeah. Or it could last two hours. Ooh, don't say that. I don't want it to last two hours. Yeah, don't say that. Can you imagine being up on stage talking for that long? No. Like it already ex- exhausts me thinking that we could be doing like a special. Cause just like a special grade type podcast. Cause I don't think anyone's really done this before. Like with what I'm, what we're trying to accomplish here. Cause I got the Brodskis, I got uh, filming, I got Jay Christensen helping out. We're gonna have the red digital Hollywood grade cameras, and we're gonna get a couple different shots. We're gonna make this thing look like a Netflix Netflix special, and it's just gonna be us talking about the the year we had, which is, hey, all for it's it. It's gonna be legit, dude. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Any other details that I'm missing? No, you hammered it. Okay. Good work. Okay. Good. There'll be a Facebook page. You'll get the invite. Yeah. yeah you yeah. might see an ad from Andy. Yeah. <laughs> ads you are we gonna get at least one person showing up that saw that saw it and bought the ticket from the ad yes because that's my that's my average quality right now is i'm starting to purchase people's uh, facebook ads purchase people what does that mean I, uh, they, they they're really oh, honing in on their targeting oh. and i buy what they're selling right? yeah what you buy I got these shoes <laughs> Yo, dude Ooh. i saw those when you first walked when uh i first walked in today and I was like, damn, those are some nice leather-bound shoes. They're not leather. It was kind of interesting, They're like though. windbreaker material. Are they really? Yeah. You breaking wind with those hitters? I don't know, dude. What do they call them, dude? Are those, are those They're things? They're the uh, drop drop style. Um, I don't know, dude. They're, like, they're a Nike shoe that is gutted from like the, uh, the, uh, the exterior of it. They like removed it, and it's just like the interior portion of the Nike shoe. Oh, okay. A little retro. I was also kind of confused by the pink back. Yeah, I was too, but I was like, I'm in. I'm down to get a little pink in me. Yeah, no, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I think it's a good play. Well, and I love this color green that I'm wearing on my head right now. And I feel like those colors work well together. I don't know if they do. I didn't look it up or not, Mm -hmm. but. It's kind of like a a depressed watermelon vibe. Yeah, exactly. Right? I want to be depressed, and I love watermelons. I don't. I don't think you want to be depressed. Well, I think you just put me yeah, as a depressed watermelon. No, no, no. I just think we're we're all you know we all have de- depression's just a thing. You know, we're all depressed in our own way yeah. at some point. But because like if you had the bright like a normal green with the the pink, that's a normal watermelon. But if we got olive green, no forest green, forest green, like my Subaru, Subaru, yeah, Subaru forest green. Your those, hat, those pants that opinion. I wear sometimes. Yeah, those those pants. You're depressed. All right. Mm. And that means because it's a little darker, a little well, darker I, hue. I, I'm more of like um, Henry Thoreau. Mm. I've heard that name, but I'm not familiar at the moment. The the guy that uh, wrote the books. Yeah. About what though? I don't I, remember, I, I feel like I, remember, I had him in my Brit Lit or maybe class it was, in high school. Maybe it was Emerson that I'm thinking of. The guy that did the uh, Ralph Waldo Waldo Ralph Emerson. Emerson. He did the uh, outdoor uh, getaways where he just kind of. You know, went into solitude to really find himself. And, you know, he really embraced the wilderness. And he embraced being a, a solo man, solo thoughts. You know, c- can you help me out at all? You don't, you're not processing what I'm putting down? This color green really embraces the, uh, the, uh, the outdoor and solitude. That's what I'm going for. Solitude. I like Can I that. get outdoor too? Yeah. Let's do, uh, I'll give you like a crack hour vibe and then I'll throw in solidarity as well. And solitude works, but solidarity is a better play, I think. What's the difference? Um, Mr. Crack hour. Solitude. Uh, I don't know. Solidarity. I just know is like the big thing that the Polish went with. The, that was their big movement in Poland when they were separating from uh, communist Russia. Okay. Uh, or the Soviet Union was their solidarity movement. Pope John Paul II was behind it. Oh, of course. So that's why I went with solidarity. To be honest, solitude and solidarity sound very similar. I'm going to look them up. We'll have intern Ty look it up. Yeah, God. Missing that guy today. He could have been great with the uh, the um, adversity that we face with our production because of the, um, the Blind Date podcast had a experience that was unique and we weren't prepared for it. Yeah, he would have been a good ad for that. 
So solitude is a state of being alone and solidarity is a state of of agreeing on a feeling together. So so solidarity. Solidarity. Cuz we're agreeing. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck we came yeah. to our first agreement of the back and show tw- 34. 34. Yeah, we've been fighting for We've been fighting for what? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> no one watches this far in on YouTube, but for Andy and I, this is a big moment. Mm-hmm. Anytime we don't put the title in on YouTube until we actually say what back and show it is, which is great. Twenty five minutes, perfect. Um, where was I going with that? Uh, you can, this, you this can just lead time. into your uh, your average quality. Oh, okay, I remembered, but it was okay. The um, first time we've we've agreed on this podcast together. It's crazy how we turned into like the first take of you know of we just pick average opinions podcast. And we, we, yeah, we just debate on this podcast all the time. It's mm-hmm. insane. Yeah, I think, you know, for the people that have stuck around since the beginning, they've really noticed a trend where we had some some a lot of camaraderie early and often. And it was yeah. it was a beautiful thing. And then once you release 120 podcasts in a year and three in a week, yeah. um, you really start to, you know, despise the man across from you. And yeah. you, you, you start to get annoyed with his ticks and clicks. Uh, and I know he can say the same for me. Um, so that's when we have to have some solidarity. (laughs) We just have to agree on shit every once in a while. Otherwise this podcast doesn't get released and then no one's happy. And then no one's happy. And it's just a sad, sad time. God damn. But, uh, my average quality. Oh, I had a good one today. Um, I'm going to give you a, uh, can you give me one? I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to give you you one. one. I'm going to give you one. And this is going to lead into what I'm going to offer you as well. I'm going with the mustache game, but I have a wedding and on the 9th of November yeah. that I know if I wear the mustache too, it's going to be frowned upon and all those pictures and stuff. Mm. Cause I'm going to be like, cl- I'm going to be like involved in the wedding pretty heavily. Okay. So I'm, I don't know. I probably could get away with it, but what's your, you're, you're worried about the, your, the, the way you're perceived by others. No. Um, yes, but at the highest level where my the people the pe- the person's wedding you're like think you're i'm thinking I'm, you're thinking I'm trying to have show some up, empathy hold on hold on you're thinking if you show up in, in your stash which is we've all seen it it's great people love it that if you show up at this wedding you're probably right that people are like no everyone's going to embrace it i can't i can't post this picture because i'm in it with andrew and he looks bad and it's ruining the wedding that's what you're thinking right now yes it's wrong. It's wrong. Dead wrong. That's a, yeah, I can agree with that. Okay, so it's, agree, it's a, it's we a weak agree. excuse. Okay. Yeah. No. I. I mean, you're gonna be. You're gonna be good. If you. If you want to commit to it, you'd be fine. To be honest. You're right. But I'm starting to grow it out right now. Okay. Nice. Because nice. I know it looks full and like it looks fine. Like it's a good mustache. Yeah. But it's really dope when my hair doesn't stick out. Like uh, it's not pointing, um, parallel to the ground anymore. It actually curls, oh. and it has Get longer some hairs. To it. it has some, some length, length, and then it curls. Okay, that's when my mustache is at its peak. Nice. So I'm growing it now. I'm actually laying in my Movember groundwork, similar to you. Yeah, and that's not something that people are talking about enough. I think the the work you have to put in to October to have a good Movember. Yeah, and you said it right, right? Movember. It's Movember. It's not no shave November. It's no shave October so that you can have a successful campaign during November. So I've been growing this thing for the entire month of October. I may have cheated and got myself a couple days in September as well. But this thing's going to be 31 days strong going into head first into November 1. And I get to just ride or die with the boys at this point that already have the mows. And I'm super stoked about it. Where like in previous years I've learned that's just not good to sh- sh- start with you know the baby face november 1st so that was going to be what i was going to lead you in as the air okay. quality is you have to explain that you know and right, so it's like right, the, it's right. the 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 above average thing is you're you're laying in the groundwork but then the below average thing is you have to explain yourself and it's never it's never easy like you don't want to explain yourself but you feel obligated to yeah no yeah it's never it's never really that fun to like tell people why you're growing your mustache out because like the premise is like jesus crap <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> why well, uh, you really put uh, a thought into it really, uh, 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 why do you have the mustache uh, 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 what's going on with that on your lip it's like okay guys like 
No shave or uh, it's no shave October. You got to know like that's just how it works. Um, but yeah, that, I guess that is what it, So what's the average quality there? I'm, I'm still I'm still caught up. Just the fact that I have to explain that all the time. Uh, your mustache in general. Oh, yeah. It's not that good. <laughs> no, the, the 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 everything that the mustache brings on when you're wearing one in the October. Brand, yeah. Not enough people are not your enough October people are mustache. Is an average quality, yeah. Because I I get the point and it makes sense and it's worthy and everything. But at the yeah. end of the day, it isn't. It doesn't make sense and it isn't that worthy. But you know, you can work with it. Yeah, I agree. I I absolutely agree. I is there some solidarity that. to that? Yes. No. Yeah. We can agree on that movement and, and feeling behind it. Because also, and we can also agree on this. This is another solidarity point uh, that we can act in solid solidarity in. Is uh, mustaches are itchy, dude. Mine itches a lot right now. I really want to, like, pull the, you know, 60-plus back pocket demographic on at what point do you grow your mustache out that it doesn't itch anymore. So it's different for every single person. And and I say that because my first few days of a mustache are not itchy. Yours might be because it's still poking out of fresh spots. And it hasn't gotten to that length in a long time. Mm-hmm. And when it and it when it, it 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 I don't know what those like the spots are on your face when, uh-huh. where the hair grows out of pores. Is it pores? I know that's where sweat comes from, but is that the same thing? Does hair come from pores? Holes, the hair holes, holes. The hair holes. Pores. The holes aren't aren't used to all pores. that adversity of you know continue to push out more and more hair. Yeah. I really don't know how hair works, but I, f- I feel like there's a push and pull. There's a. <laughs> There's push and pull. There's a shock shed. There's shock shed when it comes to <laughs> There's shock shed when it comes to, you know, how hair grows. And everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Like I'm shedding on the top of my head, but I'm pulling from my face. Yeah. No, I'm like puckering up down here, but then I'm putting out my mustache there. Yeah. Makes sense. Like I there's a reason I don't have any hair on my legs. It's because it's all going to my stash for October. Exactly. You only it's like you're uh, a what do you? What do they call those? Uh, those pets, the ones that little, the ones that grow. That chia were pet. The, chia pet. You're like chia pet, dude. Like there's only so much hair inside. And you got to pick a spot. And yeah, and there's it depends on what holes were drilled that day. You know what? What pores are open? And then yeah, there sometimes those pores close up though. That's the problem. And now and now more hair has to flow to the other holes. Correct. Now I'm getting it. Because there's a backup of hair and it needs to find new areas. And that's why old dads have back hair. Yeah, because they lose it. Like, can you imagine, like, your hair on, on your head's gone. You start, and, like, of all places, you it grows where you can't even see it, except where other people can see it. Damn, dude, that shit's going to suck. And it's patchy. Yeah, and it doesn't look like there's never been a guy who has good back hair. No, you can't have good back you hair. You can't find that anywhere. And I don't care if you Google guy with good back hair. Not going to find Maybe one person. I can think of one person. You think there's one person that has good back yeah, hair? Yeah, but you're going to have to queue into the video podcast to get him. I'm going to put him right here. Yeah, that's a good point. 35, 33, uh, 45. Guy with good. No, I already have the person I'm going to put there. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I want to look it up. Then. Someone that we know. Okay. Right on. But, um, uh, let's transition to the final uh, portion of the back end show here. Of course. What did you learn, Decky? Um, I learned that. I don't have Tommy Johnny tickets for the game this week. Did you message Annie? I should right now. She said she has some. Is anyone else looking for some? Okay. What's your what did you learn, dude? I got to take care of this ASAP. Yeah, go get on that. Tommy Johnny this week's going to be awesome. Tommy's are going to win. My prediction is Tommy's win 27 23. 27 High scoring game, huh? Not that high scoring. 27-23. For Tommy Johnny, that's pretty. Last there, year's right? was 42 to 24. Mm. I'm saying 27-23. Over under at set of that 50. Nice. Tommy's by f- four. Tommy's by four. I like that. Um, yeah, I'm right there with you. I think the, the Tommy's pulled out, but it's lower scoring game. 20 to 10. Defense shows up. We get the job done. But we don't score. I think we go. I think it's thirteen ten for a long time, or what? Yeah, it's thirteen ten for a long time. We score like the the, um, the closeout touchdown, like yeah. deep pass or something. That's what I'm thinking. Long but Allianz, Allianz is gonna be so sick. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be so dope. That is, and I've never been to that stadium, but again, the Tommies when they can move in there with with solidarity, 
we'll get anything done at this point, especially now that we're allegedly going D1. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's going to be a good time. But, yeah, I learned that I didn't have uh, my, Tommy, my Tommy Johnny tickets. What was yours? I really wasn't listening. Um, I, I didn't say it yet. Oh, you didn't? Okay, good. You weren't, you weren't listening, and Got I want to make sure you're listening. Okay, so good. I tell you. Okay, so what, 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 did, what, what did you learn? Dude? I learned that, um, you know, I've been really, I've been anti-shoes in the house. I really laid down the law to a lot of uh, my roommates, many, many occasions. Well, all of our, uh, all of us. Uh, I meant to say I've laid it. I've laid down the law to all of our roommates many a times. Okay. So thank you for correcting on Andy English. Um, and today I had a moment where shoes in the house. I'm gonna start wearing them more frequently. Yeah. I uh, I just had a great lunch and I was feeling a little. I needed a little chocolate. Working from home or working from home? Okay. And uh, I needed a little chocolate, and I had uh, a little stack of M&Ms in my desk drawer for mm. when I get hungry doing work. And uh, so I was down in the kitchen, and I was like, oh, I want it now. And I went in, like, Andy, 40-yard dash, running a 4.65, ready-to-go mode and in my slippery socks. And I turned the corner so hard uh, my stair up the stairs, yeah. and I biffed it. Dude, I biffed it by face. My hip, my chest, and knocked the wind out of myself. I <laughs> sprinted up those stairs so damn fast. And I slipped, and Maddie C was also working up from home. And, and I just hear him go, you good? And I can't even speak because I knocked the wind out of myself. <laughs> and uh, that really made me reflect on all of the negativity I've pushed towards sh- no shoes in the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, or shoes in the house. And I'm uh, I'm pro shoes in the house now because I don't want to slip in my socks. Yeah, you're kind of like... Stairs. You're kind of like the old retired grandma who her, her house is so clean when you come over and she's already got her shoes on the house. But at that point for grandma, like she's just flexing, dude. She's like, I don't care if I'm wearing shoes in the house. Carpet ain't getting dirty. And her shoes are just that clean. And her shoes are already pearly whites, you know. Um, but yeah, that is uh, I can get behind it because you're wearing new shoes, but I wouldn't prefer you to like not wear boots around the house. Yeah, I'm not going to bring in those winter boots across the house. Right, because that's going to bring up. in the dirty snow yeah. everywhere. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. But I would also say, like, um, as much as, I mean, we're, what, two years out of football now? Yes. And as much as I would like to think that I'm, like, just I've fully transitioned to a normal guy, it doesn't seem that that is the case for myself. By normal, you mean? Just, like, you don't get these certain bits of, like, I want to go sprint up the stairs or I want to jump really high or I want to make these like really fun athletic movements that I don't get to do every day. Like I, I do that every once in a while. Like I'll jump off the stairs. You get the urges. So. Yeah. You get the urges. Like you just want to freaking jump, you know? Yeah. Um, and I realized that today about you still is still like, ha- I want to jump over 10 foot fences. Yeah. You want to jump over the 10 foot fence. Like I want to sprint up that. my stairs and show off my four six five speed. Right. That I used to have. Like you're just in the house trying to get some chocolate, but dude, you're getting ready to break on that slant route and cut tackle the the wide receiver. There's, that's just an inevitable part of life that I don't know when that's going to end for us, man. Yeah, I feel like the, the offense knows my routine now, and they are just mm. they have a scheme where they're just chipping me wherever I go. Yeah. So like I I I'm get put in like a uh, a blitz situation where I'm coming off the edge. I get chipped by the the receiver. He comes in blindsides me. I'm trying to run a man to man coverage with a but a cross man to man, and I just get I get pick I get a pick play from the tight end. Yeah, that's no fun. That's and I just get blindsided. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's tough, man. I. That's what I learned. I'm I'm in uh I'm in over my head. <laughs> Again, yeah. It it's one of those things because your body's slowly deteriorating, but you're you're willingness and want and your desire to you know sprint and try and do make these athletic moves that you once did is rising it's rising so you're having this problem more or less yeah there's no the venn diagram is uh decreasing it's yeah being pushed left and right yeah, yeah i would say that for sure i just start working out in my soccer shoes um at alter feeling good about it oh my god i feel like i can just sprint everywhere. It's amazing. They're so lightweight. I'm like, it feels like I'm lacing up my cleats again. It's just like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Been lacing up the, the or the soccer shoes for comedy mics too. When I bomb, I can just sprint out of there. Don't have to worry about my perception. The ramifications. The ramifications. You know, and that's and I appreciate that. Um, but hey, we might as well finish this podcast off strong. We'll feel good story. 
Um, I have a feel good story. You do? Yes. Okay. And we've already talked about it a little bit. Okay. It's this Tommy Johnny, 2019. Okay. Allianz Field. We get to go back and support this unit of people that are going through a little bit of adversity, mm. but also have some s- high expectations because, you know, we're the Tommies. They people, love each other. People uh, look highly at us. Absolutely. And I will also say, feel good story of the week is um, definitely the podcast we just recorded Claricot. for next week. Like, it is. You can't make up the stuff that actually happened on that podcast, and the whole thing is very, very hysterical, and I cannot wait for you guys to just like go through this roller coaster ride that I just went through. It is absolutely shell-shocking, and probably one of my favorite moments. I don't know what the production's going to look like. I don't know anything. All I know is that we hit record, and... We got enough. Con- we got a lot of content out of it. There's audio. There's audio, and I have, that's what I can guarantee you. But I am very excited for you guys to listen to that next week. And I can also guarantee that on Monday, Jason Coons will be released mm-hmm. for you guys to enjoy. Absolutely, best Christmas ever. That's talk about a story that's going to give you chills. This guy literally spends his the majority of the year planning different surprises for families. That give back opportunities. Yeah. He surprises shows up at people's houses with bo- boatloads of Christmas presents, and they have no idea he's showing up. And he gives it to them every Christmas. It's like the coolest story of all time. He's an, and he's an awesome guy. He's a very he, cool he guy. He pre-showed us. Yeah, he pre-showed dope. us. And we'll talk about that, which is nuts. And, and then, then on uh, Tuesday we have Katie Sir, a first day expert who comes at you with energy, and she lets you know how to properly handle the first date. Yes. She's got a uh, a lot of things that you thought you were doing right that you're not doing so hot. Yeah. So and then uh, and then you're gonna hear Decky's blind date. On and then Thursday. yeah, and then you're gonna hear what I learned from Katie uh, on the blind date. Which did he execute? That's, that's for that's you. To for, find that's out. for you to decide exactly. But anyways, thank you guys for making it this far with us. As always, little 43 minute quick session for you. Whether you're driving, whether you're thriving, or it doesn't really matter what you're doing. We just thank that. We just we're just thankful that you're here, and we hope that you come to Sisvis November 15th, 9 p.m. Until then, love you guys. Take care. Take care.